Welcome to the video. So this is going to become the sixth video I've produced covering the Brother QL600 label printer. Uh, it's a real budget price thermal label printer from Brother, but you can do great things like print Royal Mail postage on it. Um, I've already produced this second video showing you how you can do that. Today's video is going to follow that up and show you how you can improve both the quality of that label and hopefully save you some time. Um, this will also apply to the Brother QL700 and I think any other label printer they produce that takes the 62 millimeter label roll. Um, please do also check out the channel for other budget tech content and if you are new here please do consider subscribing but in the meantime let's get into today's video. Okay so just before I get into the first update to the method of the two I'm going to show you just a reminder if you haven't already watched that first video I produced on the Royal Mail postage have a look at it now I'll link to it in the top right corner and then come back to this video and then make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'll take you through some of the comments in that previous video including a word of warning that's definitely worth being aware of. But into this first method of the two I'm going to show you for improved quality and hopefully time saving. Um, I'm back in Foxit Reader here, my kind of preferred PDF reader. Um, you'll have seen me use that in my other videos and I'll link to it down below if you're not using it yet. And what we're going to do to grab the image of the postage label that I've got open here is use the snapshot tool. So you're going to click on the home menu in the top left and you're going to click on snapshot. Now this is instead of using the Windows snipping tool that I've shown you previously. So click on snapshot and it's going to work the same as that snipping tool. So just take the crosshair to the top left of the label, the area you want to copy, hold down on your left mouse button, drag around it and then when you're happy you're quite close to the edges and you're around that area, let go, it's going to turn that kind of purple bluey colour and tell you that it's copied to the clipboard. Um, of course as usual I'm blurring out the address and the personal information on the label but I'm sure you can get enough of an idea of the area you copy and how you do this. Once you've copied that, similar to the original method, you can then go into the P-Touch editor, you can just click that new layout um, make sure your orientation is correct so if you've copied uh, in a vertical layout like we have make sure you've set vertical under the paper option here on the left and you shouldn't need to have anything already in frame there so you can just click on once and then just hold down control and press V to paste or you can right click and select paste and then it's just going to bring your label straight in there into the brother software. And then it's a question of going into the print menu and using the normal settings that I show you. I'm going to show you those print settings in method number two as well, so I'm not going to repeat them here. So if you want to use this method, just jump ahead into the end of method two and double check the print settings that I use. So yeah, that's method number one. Um, next, we get into the second update, method number two. Okay, so method number two. So I'm over on the click and drop website. And normally up to this point when I've been using this website, I've just been doing a one-off generation of a postage label. So I haven't been logging in. I've just been generating one on the fly. Um, this second method actually involves registering on the site and you'll see why in just a minute. So I'll link to this on the uh, video in the description down below but just come along to the normal send.royalmail.com and if you scroll down to the bottom of the page you're going to see an option uh, where it says regularly selling through online stores and you can click on learn more on here and then you get taken to this page and you've got the option to register for click and drop and I'll link you directly to that as well in the description. Uh, but if you come through here you can with a few steps sign up for the service um, and then you've got an account that you can use each time you're going to generate labels. Okay so I'm going to switch into my account now that I've already got set up. So once you're logged into the click and drop service uh, the thing that caught my eye was this first tab here so the set your shipping label format so if you click into that 
um, you're going to see the default is A4 and the preview here on the right is going to look just like we've seen in method number one. So the label only takes up the kind of top left portion of the A4 sheet. Um, what you're going to want to do is pick 6x4 and then you're going to see the preview actually changes so the label is filling the whole sheet. Um, so that's going to mean we can print directly from our PDF. So once you've picked that, save it as your preference in the top right and then go ahead and generate your first postage label. I've got one that I'm going to jump back into and show you in Foxit Reader now. And here it is. So as usual, I'm just blurring out the details, but you can see it's filling the whole page, which is just what we want. So we can now go ahead and get into the print menu. So just hold down control and tap P, or if you like, go via the file menu in the top left. And I mentioned in method number one that I was going to show you the same print settings you need to use in method number two. So these are those print settings. So first thing to check that the name is set to the brother QL 600. Yeah, so that's selected the right printer for us and then click into properties. OK, on this first tab, on the basic tab, make sure you select the paper size drop down and pick 62 millimeter. And then you're going to want to go down to quality and select high resolution. OK and then move on to the advanced tab. I like to select this middle option for text and graphics dither. And then I find pulling the brightness all the way down to minus 20 and the contrast up to plus 20 gives the best quality to really help that barcode and QR code scan quickly and accurately. Okay, and then on the other tab, just check the box to arrange the font stroke and then you can hit okay. And then you can see in the preview, things still aren't quite right here because it's just too large, almost too like, zoomed in. So what you're going to need to do is come down into this area where it says print handling. You've probably got none selected. Um, even if you select fit to print to margins, it's going to have a big border around it. So you're wasting a lot of the label space. So what I find you need to do is um, come down to custom scale and adjust this down until you see the label fitting nicely within the window here in the preview but really maximizing the space so i'm finding at about 63.2 here is working well uh, when you see that's looking good there go ahead and click ok to print Then you've got your label. Hopefully it's looking good. Obviously I'm blurring the detail here, but just showing the scale next to this 20 pence piece. Um, importantly, you know, the critical bits are going to be this QR code here on the left is looking good and the barcode on the right is looking good. So what I normally recommend is that you go ahead and get a free QR code scanner app for your phone. So here's the one I normally link to for Android. So go ahead and get that. I'll link it in the video description down below. And I'm sure there's a similar one available for Apple. Apple if you have an iPhone and just ensure that those codes scan quickly first time it's really critical I did say I'd link to a word of warning from the previous video at the beginning um, and that's this comment that came from Luke on the other video so actually advising that printing a smaller label is against Royal Mail's terms and conditions and he had some postage surcharged so I think it's going to be critical that those barcodes and and uh, QR codes scan accurately and nicely and that's what this whole method has been about getting a high print quality on a smaller label um, do take this as a, a word of warning though do be really careful do check your labels test them and do a test uh, delivery as well and I think if you are running a business or doing anything um, kind of larger scale then really you probably want to be investing in a dedicated probably more expensive label printer um, that said I haven't had any issues myself and I will keep an eye out on the comments for anyone else having issues unfortunately it's just Luke um, so far with this one example but definitely a warning for everyone uh, the interesting thing I've noticed recently though even a returns label for something I ordered from H&M um, you can see again by the scale here they're printing on the same size label um, to send back on a tracked 48 hour service and actually it's a slightly different label layout with a larger dedicated area for the QR code and barcode so perhaps Royal Mail are going to be able to do something like this in future to 
support and make it a bit more um, standard to print on a smaller label let's hope so anyway okay so that's it for this video guys if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if it's been useful and if you are new here please do check out the other content on the channel and consider subscribing cheers